good morning. Good morning, good morning. Out with Martin this morning in the local woodland again. Um, but when you know the areas and you know you're going to get some nice conditions or open for nice conditions, I think it's always worth coming local. Because you, you know places where you can just head to. And as soon as I walked into my favourite area, woodpecker, as soon as I walked into my favourite area, I'm seeing compositions. And even though I know this area so well and I've shot it over the last couple of years, <coughs> things are different every time. But, but saying that, I'm actually going to shoot the same tree. I know I've shot this in a spring conditions. And I think it was last spring I shot it. And it's a very similar shot I'm going to get. But I'm going to get the camera out and I'm going to get a shot now because we've got a little bit of atmosphere in the background. A little bit. And I can just see the image and I think it's going to work super. We're going to incorporate a little bit of sky, unfortunately. But I brought the big tripod out to get a little bit higher. So we can cut a little bit of that out. It's actually a really hard frost, but I can already see the first signs of the first growth of bluebells. I can see it starting to come through all this bracken, this dead bracken. Because I know this area does get the bluebells. Not a particularly heavy batch of bluebells, but bluebells nevertheless. Spring it's on its way. So what I've actually got is, as we're walking down the path, it's already sort of stood out to me, this gnarly tree. And like I say, I've shot this tree before. But what I like about it is, is I've got the tripod quite high and I'm getting the, the main shape of this gnarly tree. I don't actually know what type of tree it is. But, but I, we've got the branch reaching down to the left hand side, the trees on the right, branches are reaching down to the left, filling that frame up with a nice little bit of soft atmosphere in the background. Now, what I'm thinking about with this is, is the edit. I'm thinking of that, that nice, soft, painterly look that's gonna work. We've, the tree itself has got some moss on, so that's, the moss reflects the light superbly, certainly in this area. Don't know why, must be just the color of it, whatever. Um, so as soon as you get any sort of ambient light, that tree catches it and there's just a nice hint of light. The sun is about to rise as well, or if not rose, but we won't get it for a few minutes yet, not in this part of the woodland. But I'm just loving that scene. And then the bracken, the dead bracken is actually frozen. So it's not that strong orange color, it's a more softer color as well. So I really think the image is gonna work. I've grabbed that, I'm gonna take a few more shots. And then there's another couple of compositions that I can see around here that I think I'm going to work. And then we'll see what the light does. walk around and I'm back at this almost the same position I was first shot but that reason there look at that light and I've grabbed a shot it's it's stunningly beautiful with that atmosphere as well that's beautiful Mark's, Martin's got a composition down there I think it's going to be really well good it's going to work really well and I don't want to pinch his composition, but I might. <laughs>
So what is way around to this plantation area? And the reason why I've actually stopped is because the light that were coming through here a minute ago has disappeared now, but the light coming through here a minute ago was fantastic. So we're just going to give it 10, 15 minutes, see if it comes back. And then we've both got the same sort of thoughts. Martin's next to me here. Um, a lot sort of longer lens and getting sort of them. For me, I'm going to try and get the light coming through the bottom part of the trees and try and get as best separation as possible, maybe. But it's more that atmosphere I'm trying to capture. Lights out, as you can see. So it's just a matter of positioning yourself and getting separation if you, if you can. But I think sometimes the best way to do that is just get the camera out and have a look and grab some shots. So I'm changing all the time. I'm changing the different focal lengths. I'm on f16 so it's as sharp as it can be all the way through but I don't need it sharp all the way through. I just just again just sort of almost edging my bet slightly but you, you've really got to react to the light and keep moving and adjusting slightly and then you'll just get in a position where you think you know what that works. Now for me this position works fantastically besides I've got one horrible tree on the left hand side. If you can have horrible trees I've got one and I've I've got it on this, but I want to come wide because there's this tree that we're right knocking it. So I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the left hand third. And we're going to have that focus on the nook tree, which is in the, in the mid ground, which means I've got rid of this horrible tree. My composition is that if I move left a little bit, got this horrible straight tree green tree on the left I don't like so I'm just cutting it out the image just keeping it out but I'm also thinking about the separation on this right hand side so I think that there works for me again we'll focus on that nook tree we'll get that shot that's really nice that's beautiful actually so this is an open pathway area that we can walk straight through but the light at the end is just unbelievable it's coming down at a 45 degree angle all well, i'm actually photograph is focusing on sorry is the right hand foreground tree f16 it's sharp enough enough through there for me to be happy with and then this angular light with all these straight trees super very quick shot i'm moving to the left now i'm going to keep moving left and see if I'll look back in and see what else we can see. What a morning, what a morning. Oh, I'm so loving this. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna move around a little bit more. All I'm doing, oh, <laughs> sorry, I was tripping over, is trying to find something of a little bit of interest with the light bursting through. Now there's a tree down the back here the light behind it is something special now i don't know whether it needs to be right i've got to move forward a little bit come on let's go right what's actually anything that's frustrating me is this little branch i've got to move a little bit further forward look at the light bringing out all this bracken this golden light Got that juice delicious dribbler it's a dribbler so this next shot we're getting some real nice side shaftage so I've, I'm actually getting it to come from the top left hand third of the image bursting down into the bottom right with this lovely sort of soft silhouetted trees beautiful beautiful shot oh I'm loving this
still got this atmosphere. This is probably two hours later. We've still got nice atmosphere. And I think what it is, is just the, the warmer sun this time of year now starting to evaporate all this moisture that we've had. So for the next few days, I guarantee in these woodlands it'll be like this. So we've come across this scene. Me and Martin are both trying to capture it. There's, there's two elements to it. The first one is just this, this branch with these, these dead leaves on it, which looks fantastic. I've captured that. The dynamic range is massive, especially on the reflections of the branches of the, this um, tree. It's actually a dead tree. But then what we're trying to do is incorporate this other um, little small don't, I haven't got a clue what tree it is, but it's actually, it's starting to leaf already. And obviously, because it's a new tree, it's starting to get the light first before it gets blocked off, I assume. So we've got new and old, we've got dead and alive, uh, and they're really working together well. The problem being is actually trying to incorporate the two trees. The biggest problem we've got is we've got some olive bushes in front of the main composition. I think Martin's probably sussed it. He seems to have probably done a better job to be honest but I've tried to work around and get it from a different perspective and I may have nailed it I don't know but it's definitely worth investing a little bit of time trying to get this image if it works it's going to work really well end the vlog here guys it's been a super morning i hope you've enjoyed this one it's been a little bit of a uplift as well it's felt really good to get out with some good atmosphere some good conditions hope you enjoyed it too and i'll see you soon <laughs>